Hey guys, uh, welcome to our very first episode of the Biz and Joe Show. Uh, I'm Joe. <laughs> I'm Biz. <laughs> and uh, we're here with very talented calligrapher Cindy, and uh, she's going to tell us about herself and her business. And uh, yeah, we're going to take it from there. Yeah. So, can you give us a little background on you and how you got into calligraphy and sure. all that? Um. So I graduated, you know, very close by. I graduated from UCLA. I originally went there to become a doctor and um, then ended up graduating with a design major because my parents were like, okay, fine, you can do it. <laughs> so you got their I blessing. Exactly. So I did that, and um, since then I've been a UI designer. Um, so that's what I've been doing full time until very recently, last week, I put in my one month notice and yeah. I will be doing my side hustle full time. I wanna like look at all of this flat stuff and everything. So like when you are setting things up, because I stalked you a little bit. So when you like set everything up, how do you do it? Because your flat lays are so beautiful. Oh, I don't know, I guess. You just make them look cute? Yeah, so <laughs> well, in terms of like um, styling stationery, I found that if you put like something under <laughs> it, that kind of holds it up. I mean, obviously that's like, bounce on the yeah. copy. But it, it, oh, it's and more like dimension, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's oh. like how I style everything, and then you just like put flowers or whatever. Um, obviously, if I had, I'll, I'll put this. <laughs> Not put it back. You've got to explain to them what this is, because this is so yeah, nice. so sick. Um, so this is a, what do you call it? It's a star, it's a star map, a stargazing map that I made for this wedding that I did recently, where they had um, guests stargaze and so this is actually the couple's um star signs. signs they wanted me to put that on there and um yeah so this is just like a map of all the stars in the sky and you you point the time to the exact day you're looking at and then and it, that's what you see and that's what that's you see that's so cool and then right in the middle is the north star it's kind of covered up but yeah it's just kind of like that um, the hardest part honestly of this was to figure out how to make 365 little <laughs> yeah. Rulers like evenly spaced around a circle. I really didn't know how to do that, but that's kind of what I love about like my job is I'm always learning. Yeah, so. there's always some kind of challenge that I'm yeah. sure you've never had to deal with yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. But that's so cool. Yeah. Um. That's yeah. really cool. So. Awesome. It was really good. Well, you did really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> don't really be nervous. Good. It was oh awesome. My gosh. These are all so cool. I wish. Becca and I always talk about it. We're like, we wish we had better. Like, I can just use my regular handwriting, and it's it's legible. But I don't have like your beautiful regular writing. handwriting. Is <laughs> <amazing>. <laughs> what are you talking about? But it's like it doesn't. I can never do stuff like this. Like I'm you always totally like the cred. Okay, maybe this I'm just takes hours of practice. That's all. Yeah, <laughs> that's you, true. You I feel so like I knew how to do that before either. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. We talk about it all the time. We're always like. We're always like, look at this. Like, it's how do people do this? We love My handwriting is worse than this. Mm -hmm. No way. There's no way. I like what I used to do is I don't like people reading my notes and, oh, and in so class. I in class. So I, I like to write allegedly <laughs> so that I can <laughs> like I can read it. it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, sorry, this is my work. You can't so. see it. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, it's that's so awesome. So exciting. Yeah, that's really awesome. He actually went to UCLA too. Oh, so really? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> you like lit up. <laughs> I was you like, yeah. um, so what kind of inspired you to go after the whole calligraphy thing? Because I know going from doctor to design is kind of a big difference. So what inspired you to take that jump? Yeah. So well, in terms of like when I was in college, mm -hmm. I. I, I came into college doing like what my parents wanted me to do, oh, yeah. but that's I've hard. always wanted to be in the art world, okay. and so that's how I came into the art world um, when they gave me permission. But then um, in terms of calligraphy, I think a lot of calligraphers actually discover calligraphy when they 
do their own wedding and that's kind of what happened with me so I got married like a year and a half ago we had like a big Harry Potter crafty wedding <laughs> <That's Congrats. awesome. laughs> um, oh, okay. hence my business name I'll post calligraphy mm -hmm. and I discovered it then and just became obsessed it just became like I was practicing it like five hours a day and I decided to start this business so that's awesome yeah I mean considering uh, you know your parents having a uh, medical background in mind or wanting you to go with certain things for your career. Uh, what were some of the like biggest initial hurdles when you're first trying to like delve into calligraphy and sort of how'd you overcome that? Um, I think in terms of like just career choices in general, um, as far as how I was raised, I was raised to be very practical and I think it's yeah. uh, really hard to go into something that doesn't seem practical at all. Um, but I think after just years of working full time, um, I just realized that kind of life is too short to do like something yeah. every single day that you don't really enjoy like 100%. So I just like decided to, you know, go for it. And my husband has never worked like a real job in his life and he's made it work and he's kind of been really inspiring to me as well so he's a filmmaker so that's a huge support yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome to have both Man. both sides of things for sure are you like when you see the calligraphy field and sort of where it's going like what what sort of makes you excited about it whether it's uh, among competitors or how technology plays into those things mm -hmm. um as far as calligraphy in general i'm um, not design but calligraphy uh I'm a little worried about it just because I hear that they're not teaching kids cursive anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, they'll be able to read calligraphy in a couple years, but uh -oh. I mean, <laughs> no, it's fine. Hopefully that just means we're more in demand because yeah. no one knows how to write cursive. Might be. But um, as far as like design and designing like physical goods, mm -hmm. I feel like it's always going to be a thing no matter how digital um, the world, you know, continues to evolve into because I just feel like people love touching physical yes. things yes. and like feeling the print and you know it's I, like buying a book over an ebook or something. Yeah. Exactly. Getting mail. I mean you don't want to necessarily <laughs> send I love sending and getting mail. Like I love it. Yeah. And I don't think that I would want to necessarily send my wedding invitations in like an e bite. <laughs> like, you know, things like that. It's yeah, it's I things that true. you know you, you really want to give somebody like quality when it comes to that. Yeah. That's definitely Sure. Definitely what you have here. Um, in terms of marketing your business, what, what kind of steps do you go through or how do you kind of go about marketing your business? So I concentrate most of my efforts through Instagram. I hear that um, as far as like the wedding industry goes, Instagram's a really great platform because the like user base is are all in the age group of people getting married right now. Oh, so yeah. that's <laughs> very true. Um, so I have an Instagram, I have a website, and I have a Facebook page. Um, and I literally started this business less than a year ago. I started like last December and I just, I started my Instagram page by, before I even started the business and I just built, you know, relationships and started posting like work I was doing and slowly but surely you kind of just get there and I feel like the the best way to kind of market yourself is be as genuine as possible and make as many online friends as possible too because you support each other and it's like really amazing and I know like with the Dubsado community like there's so many people that support each other on your guys' like Facebook page mm -hmm. it's really amazing to see that kind of community and I feel like that kind of spreads into you know our community as well or in any community yeah, yeah. I agree I feel it like, yeah so things just very organic. You started less than a year ago, and now you just sort of networked and met the right people, and things have really taken off since then. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm like so crazy busy. <laughs> I'm like jumping into this full time, knowing like oh, I'm 100% gonna make it. But I'm at this point where I'm doing my full time job, and then coming home, and then having to work till like 2 a.m. every day, and I just can't do that anymore. You know. And I think I just need some room to do the work that I'm doing for calligraphy as well as like some extra time to help grow my business. So I feel like it's time to kind of take that leap and yeah. <laughs> the leap of faith. Yeah. Leap. yeah. <laughs> yes. Big step. Yeah. So. Big step. Now, I mean, 
now that we've talked about all these different factors and quitting your job and sort of taking the leap into making this full time doing what you really love, is there one thing that you can point to that would be attributed to like your most successes? Like, is there one factor that has made things successful for you, whether it's your husband supporting you or, or what have you? I mean, my husband has been so supportive. Of course, I have to say yeah. that. <laughs> no, but Shout he really has. Me. Our apartment's like such a mess all the time because <laughs> I, like, when I design things, I explode. It's terrible. But I mean, in terms of, I think, succeeding in any business, but especially like this kind of community that I was talking about, um, I learned very early on, although I wish I learned earlier, is that you should really be connecting with other people that do the same thing that you do because they're not really your com they are your competition but they're also the ones that are going to like be helping you when you have any questions or troubles with clients or like if you can't figure out why your ink is bleeding on the paper you <laughs> yeah. know like you ask them and they'll tell you, tell you and I just I've found that the more you give you will get that back tenfold so yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's yeah, that's a good point. I feel like they're they're also the people that truly understand like all that you're going through, even exactly. when it's like from the beginning of your business to like the little problems or or not little problems even like why your ink is bleeding is probably a really big problem. <laughs> yeah, like, that's your job. But just going from like back and forth from that, I'm sure they're probably one of your biggest support systems too. So. Yeah, especially when it comes to um, being like a solo freelancer. And you really don't have anyone else to turn to except for the people that do the things that you Same do. Thing. So, yeah. That's yeah. very true. That's great advice. Yeah, that is really great advice. Now, in regards to I know you said that like coming home and after work and then having to still stay up till two and whatever, and then you still have to put all that effort into your family and all this and that, like what would you say is your advice on like making the best use of your time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> best person I think um, maybe even though from like your struggles or whatever yeah. like a yeah. piece of advice where you're like man I wish I did this or like I'm working on this or something like that I know I'm terrible I'm, I try to put in I try to put in everything in like 10 minutes I'm like I can do this 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 yeah. and then I'm like I've got nothing done so I'm I'm right there with you but if you could like maybe come up with something that that what you would change or like try and do something different or just advice in general. Yeah. Um, so as far as managing tasks, I think that a lot of people maybe already do this, but writing down to-do lists every day and yeah. being able to like physically cross things off is so... Yeah. yeah. So, That's me. The satisfying. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And make, making sure they're like goals you can actually complete that day mm -hmm. or you know that week because long-term goals feel really scary and short-term goals can always be accomplished. And I usually yeah, yeah. set like month long goals. Like I'll be like, this month I want to get this many inquiries or this many clients, or I want to get, make sure I'm posting this much on Instagram so I get this many followers, etc. It's um, like attainable so. goals that you can just go and check off. Yeah, that is good. That yeah. is really key. Really key. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's super satisfying when you're like, did that today, already did that, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and when you look at the list. When you check those things off, like even if your growth is slow and steady, you still feel like you're accomplishing so much more mm -hmm. than like trying to re reach for something really big and feeling like you're never getting there. Yeah, that's something that we talk about here a lot too, is like the little victories, like celebrating. <laughs> no, really, it's, really it's, it's like celebrating all the little things, even though it's like, it's not necessarily your long-term goal, it's like, well, I've, but I've done all of this, <laughs> like, I'm killing it. So, yeah, I think celebrating both is it's good. pretty important, yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. Okay, speaking of, like, celebrating, if, if you could really see where you are now and, and how far you've come, mm -hmm. if, you, if you were to give advice to, like, say, 15, 16-year-old Cindy when your parents wanted you to be safe and practical, like, what kind of advice would you give her knowing what you know now? Um... I don't know because, <laughs> to be honest, if I have kids in the future, I probably would feel the same way that my parents yeah. did because it's very, life is turbulent and, you know, really scary, but I don't know, I guess I would just say maybe to take yourself less seriously and you will end up doing what you love to do because when I was 15 or 16, all I was thinking about was like, 
getting a really good SAT score and <laughs> like, getting like, into the best school I can yeah. and um, now I'm just like, oh gosh, I, I'm in the same place as other people who maybe didn't take those things as seriously. I'm not saying school is not important, it's still very important. <laughs> But I think if you put as much effort into things that you really are passionate about mm -hmm. and you make those things work, that is your practical. Like that will become your practical. Yeah. And because, yeah, I just feel like. Because you want to constantly like improve and keep going with that rather than just kind of exactly. check the boxes. Because if you're doing something you don't love, you you'd hardly improve and you're always just miserable and you're not excelling. But if you do something you're passionate about, you will make it work. Yeah, yeah. Really do. I do too. And just taking yourself not as seriously, I'm, I'm sure it's like a huge humbling experience, you know? Yeah. yeah. And you're like, okay, come on, we can, we can baby steps. Yeah. Baby steps. Awesome. Yeah. Well, do you have any shout outs or anybody you want yeah. to uh, say thank you to or anything thank like you, that? Shout outs. Yeah. Um, uh, shout outs to myself or to, to, to anyone? Anyone. You, you know, it's your time. <laughs> How about shout out to my husband, Matthew yeah. Miller. Awesome. Yes. Um, and then also um, I am working on a sort of giveaway maybe that's coming oh, up nice. soon with this these wonderful photographers, Andrew and Ada, that's their company name, also their names. Um, so shout out to them, you can find them um, on Instagram as well as you know, andrewandada.com. Um, but also if I can plug this little, I just came up with this idea just this past week, but I am starting a, I'm going to start a calligraphy like Facebook community, I think of some sort, where I feel like um, there's so many th things that I've learned from each client that I've had this year that I feel like I couldn't have prepared for because you know each client is different. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm trying to do is create this community where I feel like I made all these mistakes this year that I feel like maybe every other calligrapher has also made and if we could share our client experiences just at the end of every job like in this community and kind of teach each other and warn each other yeah like make sure you do this or like I use this on like this kind of material so you know you don't have to freak out when that happens to you wow um, that's that's like really <laughs> valuable information so, yeah, for other people just, too i really want to start this community and i've already kind of like pulled people in my community and it seems like everyone's really excited about it so if anyone listening to this has yeah. yeah. a awesome. calligrapher sure. please contact me and i We'll get that up and running soon, hopefully. That's really exciting. Yeah, You're so coming cool. up with all kinds of that's great awesome. things. I don't know. Maybe it's <laughs> a bad idea. No, it's a no. Idea. It's you guys awesome. like, always, always inspire me to just like the, that community. That's like I said, um, your Facebook group, and like being able to share and ask questions. Yeah, just with it. Well, we want yeah. we want you to let them know where to find you. Also. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I can be found on Instagram at Alpost Calligraphy as well as alpostcalligraphy.com. Um, my name is definitely a reference to Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter fan. Yes, Harry Potter fan. I'm wearing Ron my, Weasley. My Weasley shirt. <laughs> I, if I had a shirt that said Alpost Calligraphy, I would have worn it, but... Next time. Next, Next time. <laughs> this is still very much on brand. Yes. Yes. So awesome. That's where well, you Well, thank you so yeah. much. Oh. We're so happy to have you. Yeah. And it was awesome. You have